Okay, uh, I would like to now present uh, how to make uh, uh, how to make um, some transformations uh, of the objects and uh, also intersection. So here you have a transform and intersect. Transform is responsible for the moving, uh, rotating, and everything what is uh, used to. Uh, operate on the existing geometry. So uh, I will create two things. One is the point, uh, and uh, sorry, I will maybe just create the x y z point here. I'll make coordinate uh, with um, the um, from zero to ten. So this is a point which you can see it's uh, floating around. Now I will create the x y plane. And now, uh, yeah, first of all, um, we can always correspond to this uh, plane. Uh, so we can either move the object, project the object. So what will mean project the B-Rep geometry to the plane? It is generally <laughs> creating a um projection so so he's taking all of the lines curves and he's just flattening it to the to the existing um, uh, plane so let's turn off the visibility of the, the geometry and i will just take out the visibility so i have a surface let's Let's check if this is a surface. It's not exactly a surface. He will say that this is a closed B-Rep. Although it doesn't have the, uh, the the proper volume, it still thinks that this is um, a geometry. So what is, for example, um, a better way to, to find the intersection of it? Uh, I recommend, uh, I will leave it, but I will recommend to use intersect. And here we have a distinguish between mathematical and physical. And if I will go for the mathematical, it means that uh, generally um, I am using uh, equations to find the solution. So when I am using a prep, which is um, intersecting with the plane, I should very quickly find, find the solution, which is just a polyline curve. So, so, so uh, now I can easily produce a surface out of this. Uh, nice thing about the mathematical solutions that they are very fast. If I would use a um, quite similar one, uh, one, like for example, if I would like to take this surface and um, slice it with this B-Rep, uh, I will see that this is uh, the, the slowest algorithm which I used, because this is generally an uh, algorithm which is using um, approximation of the geometry to find the correct solution and also it's not using a simple mathematical vector um, vector um, math but it's using a little bit more advanced uh, techniques mm, okay uh, here you will find a lot of different um, uh, intersections, but uh, I would like to tell a little bit uh, more about the curve curve intersection. Uh, just I need to have, um, let's say that uh, I will just explode the polyline from here, so I should have um, the segments. I will use those segments to find the intersection in between. Uh, I will turn off the view and I will just find the points. Uh, so as you can see generally uh, I will also present it in the form of the panel. He found uh, eight um, points because uh, every line he was like um, checking with the intersected with another one and since this one was intersecting with this one and this one he found two one but when he was checking this one with this one and this one he found uh, again the same point so some of those points are uh, duplicated uh, yeah